Education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. The good man is the man who, no matter how morally unworthy he has been, is moving to become better. The only way to prepare for death is to live. Growth itself is the only moral end. Arriving at one goal is the starting point to another. We do not learn from experience. We learn from reflecting on experience. The self is not something ready-made, but something in continuous formation through choice of action. Every great advance in science has issued from a new audacity of imagination. Failure is instructive. The person who really thinks learns quite as much from his failures as from his successes. To find out what one is fitted to do, and to secure an opportunity to do it, is the key to happiness. Time and memory are true artists. They remold reality nearer to the heart's desire. The most important attitude that can be formed is that of desire to go on learning. The most important thing that parents can teach their children is how to get along without them. The true test of intelligence is not how much we know how to do, but how we behave when we don't know what to do. There is no such thing as educational value in the abstract. The value of education resides in the concrete of experience. Education is not a preparation for life. Education is life itself. Education is not something that can be done to one. It is a process that one engages in. Every great advance in science has issued from a new audacity of imagination. The quality of life is measured in terms of the number of people with whom one can live in peaceful coexistence. We only think when we are confronted with problems. We do not learn from experience. We learn from reflecting on experience. Knowledge is not a series of self-consistent theories that converges towards an ideal view. It is rather an ever-increasing ocean of mutually incompatible and perhaps even incommensurable alternatives. Each single theory, each fairy tale, each myth that is part of the collection forcing the others into greater articulation and all of them contributing, via this process of competition, to the development of our consciousness. The ultimate goal of education is to enable individuals to become the architects of their own education and through that process to continually reinvent themselves. Every experience is a moving force in growth and an invitation to further experiences. We always live at the time we live and not at some other time, and only by extracting at each present time the full meaning of each present experience are we prepared for doing the same thing in the future. The good man is the man who, no matter how morally unworthy he has been, is moving to become better. The path of least resistance and least trouble is a mental rut already made. It requires troublesome work to undertake the alternation of old beliefs. The self is not something ready-made, but something in continuous formation through choice of action. We only think when we are confronted with problems. It is a familiar and significant saying that a problem well put is half solved. Conflict is the gadfly of thought. It stirs us to observation and memory. The quality of one's emotional life changes over the years, doesn't it? But the basic instincts and desires, greed and hope, seem to remain constant no matter how much our intellectual and moral selves mature. Happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. Education, therefore, is a process of living and not a preparation for future living. The ultimate goal of education is to develop the ability to think. Every great advance in science has issued from a new audacity of imagination. Without some goals and some efforts to reach it, no man can live. There is no magic cure, no making it all go away forever. There are only small steps upward, an easier day, an unexpected laugh, a mirror that doesn't matter anymore. To be intelligent is to be open-minded, active, memoried, and persistently experimental. The good man is the man who, no matter how morally unworthy he has been, is moving to become better. 
aristocracy has to be born anew every generation, and education is its midwife. The most important thing about any technology is how it changes people. Skepticism is the mark and even the pose of the educated mind. We only think when we are confronted with problems. Genuine ignorance is profitable because it leads to humility, curiosity, and open-mindedness. The function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. The process of education is not only about imparting knowledge, but also about developing the individual's ability to use knowledge. What the best and wisest parent wants for his child is what we should want for all the children of the community. Failure is instructive. The person who really thinks learns quite as much from his failures as from his successes. The aim of education should be to teach us rather how to think than what to think rather to improve our minds so as to enable us to think for ourselves than to load the memory with the thoughts of other men. It is impossible to prevent every problem or difficulty that may arise, but it is possible to develop the skills and habits necessary to cope with them effectively. The most important attitude that can be formed is that of desire to go on learning. Education is not a preparation for life. Education is life itself. Education is not a finished product. It is a process of growth. The true test of intelligence is not how much we know how to do, but how we behave when we don't know what to do. The more a society values its children, the more moral will be its people. In order to become effective learners, students must be active participants in their own education. The aim of education is to enable individuals to continue their education. The purpose of education is to stimulate continually the students' minds, both in and out of school. Without some goals and some efforts to reach it, no man can live.